Yes. As well as the one you're ready. All right. Let's go. We are set to go. to Crypto, our weekly podcast on everything disability. Today, I have with me myself, Evie, and Jonathan, as well as David at Cunningham. Hi. A very special guest with us today. And we'll be talking about medical professions with disabilities. And we have with us the Nesh Palapana. Good day, Dr. Dinesh. Hey, how you doing? How are you? I'm good. I'm all good, good all good. All right, take it away, Cunningham. Eh? Thank you, Ibi, and look, welcome, everyone, and welcome, Dinesh, to you. How's your day been so far? Yeah, it's been great. Thanks a lot for uh, having me on. Fantastic. So, um, like, can you tell us a bit about yourself and what you what got you so passionately interested in, um, in uh, accident and emergency um, medicine? Yeah, I um, so I uh, was born in Sri Lanka. I uh, moved to Australia when I was ten years old. Then um, finished high school and did a degree in law, and ended up going to medical school because um, I had depression when I was studying law, and that got me interested in medicine because I started seeing a doctor. Then I got into medical school, and then uh, halfway through medical school, I had a car accident. And uh, I sustained a spinal cord injury after that. So um, I lost the wow. use of my fingers and everything below the chest. Actually, it's the 27th of January now. So it happened on the 31st of January, 2010. So it's nearly been wow. 30 years. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, I, I developed an interest in uh, working in the emergency department after that. Um even before that, I had an interest in trauma and um, I suppose the acute side of medicine. Um, but the, yeah, the injury, uh, you know, after the injury, I, I became even more interested, I suppose, after having an experience in it. But I love the job. I'm, um, you know, it's uh, really interesting. The patients are amazing and the work is, work is fascinating. So I love every minute of it. Cool. So, like, yeah, so, like, so, like, I'm telling you, I mean, do you, do you often find it stressful, though, yeah, at work, though, like, underneath what you do? I mean, is it a challenge for you at, with, with the pressure and all that? Uh, so, I would have been in the country. Can you pause for Dick well, we got some interference, guys. Oh, yep. Is everything good? No, no. I, I, I'm, I'm hearing some um, people feedback. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Okay, sorry, Denise. Go ahead. That's all right. So, um, our emergency department. The answer again, the, yeah. Yeah, our emergency department is the busiest ED in the country. Uh, it's a pretty dynamic place to work and uh, there's a lot happening. And But, you know, I think that's one of the um, allures of working in a place like that just because uh, it's challenging and I think challenges are rewarding and uh, I find it, I find that a good thing. So um, I, I met, uh, I met someone a little while ago who trains elite sports people and they were telling wow. me that, it's good to it's good to challenge yourself because like a balloon you stretch and stretch and stretch and then uh you know that that's that's how you become uh that's how you grow so i feel that this is a this is a good thing as well so um 
the more, I guess, pushed you are and the more challenged I am, um, I find yeah. that I more and grow more. So um, I find it pretty rewarding. So, like, so I mean, I mean, do you manage on on shifts when you're having to to like balance your disability needs with being a professional? I mean, do you do you find that a bit of a, a struggle at times? Not finished or not? Yeah, that's a great question, David. Thank you. So, when I came back to medical school, one of my uh, best friends he said, um, "If you want to make a success out of this, you're going to have to." learn to streamline everything and uh, figure out ways in which you can, uh, I, I suppose, perform the best. So yeah. when I came back to medical school after the accident, I just worked out ways in which um, I can time everything and I can uh, plan everything and I can have contingency plans for things and I can just um, work, work things out so... Uh, everything becomes seamless around the spinal cord injury. And that's yeah. that involved things like, you know, setting up the wheelchair the right way and um, having shoes that I can wear for the whole day and um, experimenting with different types of scrubs, you know, when, you, when we're thinking about skin and temperature and all that sort of stuff. So, for sure, um, yeah. And even things like eating, you know, because... Uh, a lot of people with spinal cord injuries uh, um, have experienced a drop in blood pressure after eating, or some, some, you know, sometimes feel a bit dizzy. So I'm the same. I feel a little bit dizzy. So I even watch what I eat and time what I eat, just so I can perform at work the best. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, and so, when so basically, so times probably when uh, when when your colleagues would have different responses too right i mean i'm mean, sure it'd be difficult to have to yeah like, like judge how people respond to you in the in the way you're on shift because i mean i mean you got your co-workers and your colleagues and peers as well and that'd be right i mean they'd have different yeah. approaches to you wouldn't they my colleagues in the emergency department are amazing they're um they're really good and um i i just right. i just feel like I'm part of the team and yeah. uh the yeah, the doctors and nurses and everyone, the radiographers, the environmental services, every, everyone is amazing and I just feel like a part of the family. And uh, similarly, the, a lot of many of the departments have been really good as I've worked in different ones in the hospital, but there have definitely been um, a, a select few, uh, particularly senior staff outside of our emergency department in the past um, that I've had some difficult conversations with. Um, so that, that's, that's, I think, by and large, that's become less and less and less. And uh, as, as we move forward more and as time goes by, um, the, it's, it's become a lot, lot better. Excellent. So, like, so I guess, as I'm, uh, like, I mean, you'd be aware of all the difficulties and, and like and the obstacles in the health system for people with disabilities as well, wouldn't you? So I mean, I mean, I mean, how do you reckon the system actually would treat people with disabilities on the whole when it comes to public health and um, and hospital system? Yeah, and that that's why I think that's one of the reasons why we need to have people with disability within the system because there's a there's often a lack of understanding about what is required for a person with a disability when we're providing yeah. health. Um, and I mean, you guys would have all experienced the health system at one point or another, right? So we have, yeah, we certainly have. <laughs> and we yeah. we all know the challenges. And even for me, right? Even when I was, uh, even before I became a doctor, when I was a medical student, I experienced uh, so many different things. So yeah, I, I think we got to uh, we've got to do more to make the system better uh, for the many Australians that have disability and there's a lot of work to be done still. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ibi, you uh, got a Yeah, yeah. Dinesh, uh, what has been the reaction of, you know, patients when they see you on the on the grounds, uh, you know, delivering service? The That's... Uh, so... When I was um, coming back to medical school, I wondered 
and I was I was actually scared about what patients would think, um, and I thought, man, would they <laughs> they would they be okay? Would they? Uh, but the interesting thing is, so we're now seven years down the track after I've become a doctor, and not one patient has ever uh, said anything like that or, or uh, reacted in an un, you know untoward way. They've all been amazing and they've all been incredible and I feel very lucky to be a part of their um, care. So the patients have been really good uniformly. Interesting. That's awesome. Wow. So like so like I mean do you do, do you I mean have you ever faced any 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 like uh, discrimination within the system or any um you know questions about your disability or your or yeah. your uh, or the or the way you know it could have been basically I mean you would have reasonable adjustments in the, in the workplace, wouldn't you? So, for how um, you operate? Yeah, so again, I'm going to say the patients, definitely not, never. Um, the system, yes, the system has been challenging. So when it came time to uh, even get the job and start working as a doctor, when it came time to um, doing all that, even uh, with certain uh, certain specialties when I was working through them, there were a lot of challenges. In terms of... Mm. Um, Adjustments. I mean, if you think about it, the our emergency department, we see so many different kinds of patients, right? We see hundreds of patients every day and not all of them require, um, I suppose, like procedures and things that you need fine motor skills for. I've learned how to hold a stethoscope. I've learned how to examine a patient. I've learned how to do all that. So, you know, there's there are a lot of patients I can see. So I just go to work and start work and start seeing patients and, um, really one of the main differences is that I use a wheelchair to do it. And uh, I, off, I, I, you know, I might not see patients that require complicated procedures, um, but the, most of the patients don't require that. You know, more, many patients just um, require an examination. And so I can do all that. And then um, I um, mostly do evening and night shifts because... That, uh, that just works better with the spinal cord injury and um, uh, all, the, all the logistics around it. So, yeah, I, th I think we've um, we figured out so many different ways to make it work and make it a success, and it's been really good. Um, but it wasn't easy starting off in the system, definitely. Wow. Yeah. And so, I mean, you'd receive lots of support from your family too, wouldn't you? No, I mean, I mean, how's their how's their approach towards you, and the um, and your career, what you've chosen to do with yourself? It's mainly, you know, it's just been me and my mom since the accident, and then um, family. <laughs> I've learned that family isn't so much uh, about blood and genetics, but family is what you make it, uh, and so. Yeah. It's been me and my mom this whole journey, but we got uh, we got people that we call family now. Um, so the team around me that uh, support me every single day, um, and my close friends, their family now. So it's um, it's uh, I suppose wow. for all, all of us by virtue of my job, it's sometimes an unusual day and an unusual uh, unusual journey. And I think even for, for most doctors, the people around them um, don't have a complete picture of what happens in our day-to-day -day lives at work. Um, yeah. So in my situation, it's even, even more a bit different. But, um, you know, they're, they're, they're awesome. And I, I wouldn't be here without them. Fantastic. So, like, uh, like uh, and so... Like, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, are there are there times, Denise, where you actually, where you, where you, where you actually, or actually wish you actually had your ability to walk again, or not? And do you ever think about that? That life uh, pre pre disability yeah. and now having it, because many many quadriplegics or paraplegic often experience the fact that they actually may miss, you know, they 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 miss what they used to have. Yeah. When it first, when the accident first happened, I would have done anything to have my old life back. And uh, right, turn back. Um, but today, I, 
I just don't think about it. I mean, I love life. I'm happy. Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel very privileged. And I feel very uh, fortunate and I, I'm very thankful. And I think um, so, someone once told me that um, it's not about mourning the things that we've lost, but celebrating the things that we have. And that's the approach that I try to take to, to life. And yeah. um, at the same time where we're, you know, we're doing a lot of research around spinal cord injury and we're, where all that is happening as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I think I'm still pretty lucky. You know, it's, um, I wouldn't be here chatting to you guys if it didn't happen. So, well, so uh, correct, exactly. Right. I if guess, uh, so, yeah, uh, Dinesh, working in the, I guess, sector can be very, I guess, stressful and anxious. Um, and yeah, every day. So how do you manage all the stress and anxiety you face? Um, I mean, like I said earlier, um, my perspective on that has changed. Like I, um, I find it, uh, I find it to be pretty, you know, I, I find that it helps me grow and I find that it stretches me. So that, that challenge I find is pretty good and I welcome it now. Um, I, I think the, um, yeah, and I think just everyone has different things that they do, right? Like when they get home, they might uh, find different ways to chill out. So for me, it's actually um, ice cream and the Simpsons sometimes when I get home at night. So uh, <laughs> then, uh, I chill out a bit after work. So, 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 there, so there's no booze then? No booze. No, I actually don't drink. No, not at all. <laughs> that is interesting. That's really, really good. Yeah. Um, it's like so, like so, like so, so, like, so, like, Adonis, so when you when you got your uh, your your uh, your order of Australian medal, was that a was that an experience for you and a half? When did you? And when was it? Was that a, that, that must have been a moment for you, right? Yeah, it was incredible. It was um, so. It was at the Governor General's house, and um, uh, it just—I don't know. I think those those moments kind of remind me that uh, they kind of remind me to do more and to be better and to and to give more back for our community too, right? You know, like the community of people with disability. Like we're all, yeah, we're all, we're all together and we're all trying to um, build a better life for all of us and to create more equity and better health care and all these things. So it just reminds me to work harder to do that and that that's what that moment was like for me. Um, the, and the actual ceremony wow. itself, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was, uh, it, it was just super nice and I think that's what it reminds <laughs> me. <laughs> super nice. That's a way to describe it, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Like, 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 I mean, between between us all here, uh, Dinesh, I am I am slightly envious of that with you, you know. <laughs> ah, thank you. It's a it's a good thing to have, and I tell you, when you when you have it, people look up to you, don't they? They they, they turn and go, oh, you got that? You go, yes, I'm one of them. I'm actually always, thank always, you. always a good thing. Like I I, I um. I'm thankful to the people. I feel very, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so lucky to have. Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel very lucky. And, you know, the other thing is, yeah. I, was, I wasn't born in Australia, but um, Australia has welcomed me. And I've, I've grown up right. here and I have health care and education. So I yeah. feel very lucky to be here. Uh, absolutely. So it's a beautiful yeah. country. That's yeah, very true. Uh, it, 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 be any questions? Oh, no, I'm just saying, uh, yeah, in regards to um, the challenges and obstacles that you face as a person with disability, uh, how do you manage to overcome those? Um, so, what was that again, Ibi? Uh, sorry, with the challenges, the, cha and, the, the uh, challenge obstacles, yeah. Yeah, that you face. How do you overcome them as a person with disability? Um, 
I think one of the things that I uh, thought about very early on is that, you know, we, we have these barriers. And we, we might have um, people say what we can and can't do, and we might have these systemic issues and prejudices and whatever else, right? But what I've learned is that uh, it's you get one shot at life and it's happening now and there's no room for regrets so i just wanted to try and make the most of this chance i've been given and i i wanted to try and make the most of it and i didn't want to have any regrets down the track so when the when there were challenges and obstacles i just thought you know i, I just got to give it my best and i just got to keep trying um because i just don't want to have any regrets down the track and that's how i approached it I just didn't want to have any regrets and uh, I just kept going. So I didn't care if I tried and failed, but I just wanted to try. Trying is key. Definitely it is. You know, for, push for us all when we um, push forward for something. Really, really, really important. So, so like, uh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, um, like when, so would you, would you have steps that you take the initiative in actually planning your goals, what you want to achieve and your life? I mean, do you, Take it step by step, or do you just, you know, just like wing it and go and do something? How's what's your approach to that? Yeah, I mean, I, I knew that uh, I knew that I wanted to graduate from medical school. Like, I, don't, I knew that I wanted to become a doctor because I love it so much and all these things. But um, these days, yeah, I think um, I think it's bec it's become more about um, how I can leave this world a better place and what I can do to contribute to. Um, you know, contribute to other people having a better life and our community having a better life and our world being better tomorrow. So it's become more and more about that. And whatever I can to do, that is what's yeah. most important now. Um, yeah, I, 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 um, yeah. I was listening to this uh, interview with Neil deGrasse Tyson and he said that um, that, is, that is his uh, magic motivator. It's just that he wants to leave something that betters humanity. Um, so that that's what my motivation is these days. Fantastic. That really is really, really, really great. So, so I guess you would have a vision then for how um, our hospital and health system could be better as well, don't you, in Australia, right? You'd have that vision, wouldn't you? Totally, totally. Because um, I think, uh, you know, I, I think it needs to benefit uh, the people, you know, I think there are so many gaps, right? Um, there are so many gaps, whether it be First Nations people, people with disability, refugees, like there, there are so many people that use the system that have gaps to access, yeah. that have the outcomes. And disability is definitely one of them. And I, I would love to see an accessible uh, public health and hospital system for people with disability where, um, where, where you can have excellent outcomes and excellent care and even excellent things like good physical access and good, just good individualized care that looks after needs and, and a, a yeah. world where we expect a, a similar life expectancy and similar health outcomes and uh, and that is what I would love to see because we have the resources to do it. It's just about making it happen. Absolutely. I agree with you totally. And of course we're all with you on that one. Um, so so would you have some um, advice there to give about for, for others with disabilities who are seeking to enter the uh, medical profession? Would you you'd know you'd have some things to say about that, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, medicine is a uh, very broad church. There are so many different specialties. There are there's there's you know everything from emergency medicine to general surgery to radiology to general practice to psychiatry. So there are so many different areas in medicine that you can find a home in. It's just about finding um, you know it's just about uh, getting to a medical school that's supportive. And there are many in Australia and around the world that are starting to be. Uh, great, and then um, going for it. But if you're thinking about it, I can tell you that I love this job. It's amazing. It's rewarding, um, and you you won't regret it. And uh, we need 
more diversity and we need people with disability in medicine because uh, it's going to benefit the community of people with disability so much if we have more doctors with disabilities in this system. I agree. Yeah. Totally. But uh, I guess as well, being a leader in the space uh, is uh, very rewarding as well as, you know, being a great model for people out there for the community. And uh, it's something you, you look forward to every day, just getting up and, yeah, just have that positive mindset. Yeah. Uh, positive I, mindset, sorry. Wouldn't you agree, yeah, did it? I feel very lucky and, yes, definitely a big yes. That's awesome, awesome. Fantastic. So final thoughts, uh, Ibi? And and Jonathan? Uh, yeah, Gillian, uh, uh, look, it's been an absolute honour to have you, Dinesh, on the show to share your wisdom and your knowledge and your expertise in the field. Uh, I myself, uh, yeah, would never get into medicine. Uh, but <laughs> look, uh, hearing, your, just hearing your story, it's yeah, such an amazing work that you do. And keep doing what you do best, Dinesh, and you be that great leader in your community and a great role model for everyone. Thank you very much, yeah. Dinesh. Um, over Thanks, to you, guys. Kanye. Yeah, and actually, um, and actually, uh, like um, Dinesh, I feel exactly the same way. You're, you're, a re you've been a, a really great guest on the show today. I tell you, we're very fortunate to have had you. So thanks so much. You're we're really great. Having you know, and just hope you enjoyed your time on Crypt Chat Australia. Yeah, thank you, boys. The honor is all mine, and it's a privilege. Thank you for having me, and thanks for what you're doing. Thanks, Danish. And look, guys, that's the episode for this this uh, week. Uh, please like and subscribe. Remember to um, uh, click the uh, the episode for for your likes. Those likes help us to get more uh, publicity and, and pr promotion, etc., for ourselves. And we'll see you all next week. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys. Ibi, Jonathan Thank and Denise. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.